So what we're going to talk about here today is optics, redundant optics, and why we do what we do when we're racing AKs. Okay, so I race guns. A lot of people race cars, race motorcycles, race stuff like that. I race guns. And so for me, every tenth of a second is critical. And so what you'll notice is uh, what's become very popular in the competition scene, having redundant reflex optics, is traditionally outside of the shooting sports, maybe not so common. And so we get lots of questions from folks that aren't familiar with why we do what we do. And so I thought I'd just spend a couple minutes talking with you about that. So obviously we've got our primary optic, right? And if we needed to switch to shoot around a lean, we could easily go over to the left shoulder with our strong grip, or we could actually convert to a weak side grip. Or one of the things we do in competition is we'll literally just roll the gun. And so by rolling the gun, it gives us a little bit more distance, it lets us sneak out just a little bit further. It also keeps the sight over bore. So you'll notice sight over bore is consistent where if I'm canting my head right along with it and shooting a longer shot, then now my sight isn't going to be over my bore and I may miss even though the dot's on the target. So big problem when it comes to competition, you gotta hit things, gotta hit them fast. Also, so I really like having redundancy. And so irons are great for redundancy on an AR platform, an AK platform, things like that. But if for some reason I smash this dot and I had irons that co-witnessed, I'm still looking through a smash dot trying to use my irons. Where this gives me a second true sight that I can just simply roll the gun and I'm right back on target. So this has real world application. I run on my house gun, self-defense gun, competition guns. And though you may think it looks a little silly having two reflex dots on, there's a lot of practical purpose for it.